हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सोलर एंड लूनर इक्लिप्सिस ऑफ ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ अक्टूबर एंड एट्थ नवंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू रिस्पेक्टिवली वेदर दे आर बेन और बून आई विल इक्लिप्सिस हैव ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस इन दी मुंडेन एस्ट्रोलॉजी एज दे रिप्रेजेंट द पीक ऑफ द एनर्जी डिस्चार्ज and their periods of influence extend over considerable period of time in the lunar eclipse the effects are seen immediately but in case of solar eclipse some months elapse before the greatest effects appear the effects of the solar eclipse last for as many years as the eclipse in ours the effects of the lunar eclipse are seen in months as per the duration of eclipse in ours as per varaha nira when the luminaries are eclipsed there are there would be danger to crops as well as the king of the country on the other hand if the eclipse is total and the eclipse orbit is also having aspect of malefics as well there would be famine pestilence over the country especially those countries where the eclipse is visible since the two eclipses lunar and solar are taking place in the cardinal signs the effects will be also be over soon in the case of solar eclipse on the 25th october 2022 there is also aspect of malefic retrograde and fallen saturn on the eclipse point and on the eclipse orbit hence the effects would be more as mentioned above vram hira has further said that should a solar eclipse be followed by lunar people will become unruly and unjust in their behavior and couples will be at logger heads this is what is happening first the solar eclipse is taking place and then there is a lunar eclipse war like and alarm bell for global recession according to ancient texts if there are two eclipses within a fortnight it means war since we have two eclipses within a fortnight this may hold good in the immediate future rashi and nakshatra sangata chakra indicate war like situations because there is veda between mars and saturn as per jatak parijat combination for global recession since i have already mentioned in my previous videos also that when saturn aspects jupiter by third aspect or tenth aspect and also has aspect on rahu and ketu then it is time for global recession and it is parallel to the planetary positions which were <coughs> as per the jatak parijat at the time of dot com bubble bust in march 2000 and on the uh, uh, and in march 2020 when we had the covid 19 uh, market crash solar eclipse of a uh, 25th october is taking place in the nakshatra of swati <clears throat> the uh, the duration of the eclipse is is 41 minutes so it is not one uh, the the eclipse effect will not be for one year it will be for about 8 months the eclipse would be visible <clears throat> from the parts of europe north east africa and west asia none of the eclipse would be visible in southern eastern part of africa east asia australia north america and south america continents it is written in brihat samhita that eclipses in aries sign because this sign is aries a libra in swati nakshatra aries sign would set for cyclones and disputes with other states the solar eclipse is taking place in the aries sign libra hence the signification will spout with dimension as mentioned people of avanti and ramta region western boundaries near saya mountains will be influenced the most virtuous people inhabitants of darshana city maru and kachapa region will come to grief effects of the lord of the eclipse sign is placed in the 8th house since the eclipse is taking place in the 8th house because <coughs> uh, pisces sign is rising and eclipse is taking place in the 8th house 
the eighth lord is also placed there and is afflicted badly since the solar eclipse on the 25th uh, uh, sign is libra and the eighth house is afflicted badly and the eighth lord is afflicted badly and if the eighth lord is venus there may be serious accidents and deaths death due to rail and air accidents chart the chart you can see the chart for yourself the chart is of pisces lagna as i mentioned so the day is tuesday and the lord is mars and placed in the yama of virgo the seventh house of the chart and the yama lord mercury is ill placed from the house of eclipse the eighth house and eighth lord hence this parameter is explosive and since the sign lord venus of the eclipse is also in the eighth house there may be serious accidents and death due to this parameter more so certain aspect this sign from the 10th strong aspect the eighth lord venus is also totally combusted and there is also exchange of stars between the eighth lord venus and rahu placed in the second house this shows that event related to air disasters and serious accidents second house is the financial position of the country which may be influenced adversely since rahu is placed there jupiter as the lagna lord in the lagna but afflicted since retrograde and having aspect of fallen saturn people will be prone to flattery exertion and overspending government monetary policies may influence the people adversely and people will react mass representation may be there fourth house has mars so fire earthquake trouble to government mining disasters not good for the property market on the positive side mercury in the 7th house is exalted and forming a panch mahapurush yog treaties with treaties and commercial agreements diplomatic success 8th house 8th house is mars because the eclipse is taking place in the 8th house 8th house mass tragedies underground wealth full <coughs> fall of the government death of important persons earthquake of dimension volcanoes epidemics lunation in this house sun in the 6th 6th lord and moon the 5th lord of speculation and entertainment industry since there is aspect of saturn here denotes death of five circles and among notable people including speci uh, especially women in the bollywood and <clears throat> in the uh, political sector since female planets are placed there the 8th house under reflection death of a important female artist musician actor actresses is possible since ketu is placed there and afflicted death like accidents explosions suicide and mysterious deaths the luminaries are in the star of swati indicates movement <clears throat> like riding of vehicles journey construction swati straight and forward looking hence all these activities which require movement will be disrupted 11th house saturn fallen and retrograde in the 11th house and lagna and jupiter retrograde aspects the lagna and jupiter in the lagna and the eclipse house the planets in the 8th house this will add fuel to the fire there will also be representation by the public against the government orders strikes rights march also aspects saturn from the 4th house and afflicts saturn fallen and retrograde in the 11th house 11th house becomes a <clears throat> you know problem when there is a afflicted planet there it becomes a liability so whatever orders and policies will be changed there will become liability the affliction to the house of the eclipse and the 8th house is most critical parameter in the solar eclipse the sun and moon both are in the 8th house shows untoward happening for the head of the country and the states sun and moon are also life giving planets under afflictions also shows loss of lives the two planets jupiter and mercury in own house is some saving <coughs> since forming panch mahapurush yog lunar eclipse of the 4 of the 8th november 2022 total lunar eclipse would occur on the 7th 8th 2022 it would be the second lunar eclipse of 2022 the eclipse duration is 1 hour and 4 minutes so that means the uh, the uh, the effect will be seen for one month immediately 
the lunar eclipse is taking place in aries sign and the lord is mars and placed in the third house there would be rail and air accidents there may be strike by the rail employees since the lord is in the sign is malefic the results will be worst effect of the two eclipses will be felt from october 22 to june 2023 in a nutshell lunar eclipse chart lunar eclipse chart is of aries lagna as i mentioned the lagna is afflicted so the lagna denotes the general condition of the country will not be good rahu and moon are there and in the natal in the foundation chart of india also rahu is placed there so it is not good and moon is afflicted moon is the fourth lord here so the lagna lunation is taking place hence moon is afflicted here rahu will cause illness depression discontentment in the country rahu placed here will add fuel to the fire there could be war like situations in the country or destruction through epidemic earthquakes it may lead to war with neighboring countries communal tensions anarchy and disruption of natural functions of the government crime murder rape dequity robbery will be order of the day people will have no faith in the religion people will tell lies to obje- uh, to attain their objects there will be mass tragedies like bopal gas tragedy rahu in the lagna is also there in the foundation chart mars in the third house rail and air accident fire explosion and border clashes seventh house is war disputes just see the number of planets in the seventh house <clears throat> so disputes with foreign countries celebrities and prominent people of the country suffered due to marriage and divorces sun debilitated and afflicted in the 7th house sun is the fifth lord of speculation and the stock market hence the same may suffer on account of this disputes and complications fifth house significations also suffer hence the entertainment industry will also suffer along with educational institutions mark the karka for weather stock market as the sixth lord afflicted breaking of the tra- uh, treaties by the neighbors with the foreign countries and dispute with foreign countries for trade and commercial dealings venus again afflicted public scandals divorces crime against women and secrets of bollywood will be unearthed ketu afflicted therefore scandals epidemic divorces lawsuits against a prominent people of the country 10th house afflicted saturn retrograde and fallen in the 10th house can bring disgrace for the government misfortune for or trouble to the government also prominent leaders may face illness and death like situations and the royal people may also suffer the most 12th house sabotage and spying by enemies and sub- subversive activities by the ambassadors high dignitaries and people in position may suffer judiciary and religious people may also suffer the chakras for nakshatra veda transit the same has been explained veda in the tara chakra in the tara chakra swati the first is the solar eclipse now on the solar eclipse swati gives veda to rohini jas and satabisha those politicians and celebrities who have planets in these stars will be influenced the most if they are the first third fifth and seventh nakshatra it will be worst veda in the tara chakra in the lunar eclipse of 8 in the tara chakra the bharni star gives veda to maga kritika and anuradha and if they are the first third and fifth and seventh from the janam nakshatra then there will be adverse situations and worst and especially planets in these narendra modi has planets in kritika and anuradha so he have uh, his period will be most challenging in the uh, during the eclipses this is the chakra you can see uh, bharani is giving uh, veda to rahu and anuradha avera uh, swati is giving uh, veda to satbisha jyasta and rohini nakshatra and rashi sangatha chakra veda between mars and saturn crucial for war like situation 
there is veda between mars and saturn from the 24th september 2022 to 23rd december 2022 and then from 24th february 2023 to 13th march 2023 it is covering both the solar and lunar eclipses as there could be war like conditions and global which may be responsible for the global recession the uh, the the brawl between ukraine and russia could take an ugly stance the the brawl between china and taiwan could take an ugly stance during this period and just see in the nakshatra sangatha chakra there is veda between mars and saturn it is believed that when mars and saturn have veda in this then it is a time for war and mars is also aspecting saturn by eight aspect as per parashar aspect there is veda between mars and saturn from 16th october to 15th november and then from 18th january to 13th january in the rashi sangatha chakra also normally this does not happen this is rare combinations politicians and celebrities to be careful who have mars or moon in libra or aries sign libra swati and in bharni libra swati and in bharni star in aries sign or venus in these signs prone to untoward happening those people who have this china for china the two eclipses will be in the fourth and axis most aggressive task and in war mood cyclones earthquake and serious accidents prone to economy fall and especially in the real estate market crashing market uh, strong uh, real estate market in crashing china is under the operation of mercury ketu dasha and both are placed in the 9000 the foundation chart having combinations for insolvency especially in the real estate and the stock market critical time frame the most critical time frame for the world is from 24 september to 13th march 2023 since we have two eclipses in this time frame and veda of mars and saturn in the two chakras most critical moon sign and ascendant the eclipse falling on the natal mars is most venomous as can be seen from the past mahatma gandhi was assassinated when eclipse fell on the natal mars in the sign libra now we have uh, <coughs> the eclipse in the sign libra and joe biden the president of us has mars in libra and moon in aries it is most critical for him president abraham lincoln was shot dead on 14th april 1865 on on the 11th april 1865 there was lunar eclipse on his natal mars a solar eclipse fell on president john f kennedy natal chart in the 4th and axis and mars was there at the eclipse point and he was assassinated after 4 months in the horoscope of indira gandhi the solar eclipse of the 25th may fell on the taurus sign opposite to sun and she was assassinated on the 31st october 1984 hence those having mars or moon in libra and aries sign close to the eclipse degrees may be prone to obstacle and hurdles in life there may be serious consequence as i mentioned this is the chart of joe biden and you can see for yourself mars is placed in the 12th house and moon is placed in the uh, in the 6th house and there are eclipses in this this axis so it is prone for to him he can have troubles for his health and security he has to be most careful so this is all friends i just wanted to share that the planetary positions from september to march 2023 are most venomous and they will take the world for a rough ride astrology is replicable the parameters are replicable my prediction can according to replicity the the possibility of whatever i have predicted is quite high so and if you look at the charts of world war 2 also the planets were in cardinal signs four um, heavy malefics were in cardinal sign whereas now there are three malefic heavy planets in the cardinal sign and mars is aspecting 
Saturn by its strong aspect. So it is 75% of what was there at the time of World War II. So, so friends, this is all I just wanted to share with you that the planetary position are taking the world for a ride. Some people commented on my YouTube that I will write bad or good comments after the happening. Well, friend, let me tell you here, these predictions are not made by me. These principles are not made by me. These principles are made by our, our, uh, you see, uh, our uh, learned astrologers in the past and the classics which are written and my predictions are on those classics. It is not, I, I cannot be blamed. They, they, if it doesn't happen, the classics have to be blamed. Replicity, whatever is happening, I am using the past to predict the future. So if the, it doesn't work, that means the classic principles may not work. It is not me who have made it. So please bear this in mind and my disclaimer clause is applicable. Please bear in mind that whosoever invests according to my predictions, he will be doing at his own risk and fancies. And this is only for educational purpose and the upcoming astrologers to see how you can predict on the eclipses and the other chakras which I have used, which no astrologers in the globe has used. I have used all the chakras and let, let me see. Uh, I wish all the best in this difficult period that all should come out strongly, especially for those people who have planets, as I mentioned in the Nakshatras and especially in Aries and Libra would be the worst, especially those who have in Bharani and Bharani and Swati. So this is all friends. I just wanted to share. Thank you very much for listening to me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.